So, if you guys remember, I posted a somewhat review of the TE250i and the small problem I had with it. So, this video is essentially part 2 of that video. So, it turned out something was up with the ECU and my TE250i was running rich according to the dealership. And out in the mid to entering that high range mark, it was pinging and acting as a rev limiter. Best way I can describe it. I sent it off to the dealership for a reflash for only 55 bucks. But long story short, they actually added a new aggressive mapping to the TE250i and that definitely seemed to have fixed the problem, at least somewhat. What's up everybody, Ride with Will here. I just got my TE250i back. Uh, I tested around the parking lot at the dealership and uh, seemed to have worked pretty fine. However, out here, 7,000 feet elevation, uh, there's really no way to tell right now because of all the snow and ice. But it seems like the issue is kind of fixed, but it's yet to be a... I don't know if it's kind of normal with the two-stroke or not, so this is like my first, especially proper two-strokes, but I do remember all the two-strokes doing the same thing. I, I kind of have to like test ride other people's two-stroke to compare, at least the carbureted one. But it definitely revs up fine when, when I'm hitting the revs, uh, when I'm hitting the throttle, pretty pretty thoroughly pretty uh consistently that's like a very gradual increase so before it was pinging before second gear second gear as well Seems like the mapping kind of, I don't know, like it needs to be written at least minimally a little hard like that. So if I go very gradually, see right here, it's kind of pinging. I'm holding the throttle here until. So that, if I very like kind of hold the throttle in and leave it right where it's at, I notice, I guess that's kind of normal because I'm holding my speed. But if I'm riding normal like this, yeah, no, no issues at all. And I'll, I'll make more sense of it once the trail dries, but it looks like the issue is fixed. But it still does that pinging sound if I'm, if I'm like holding the throttle. But I don't know if that's normal or not. Like holding the throttle where it's at. Like not moving it like right here. At, at the mid, the mid high range. Still the same high range. So I ended up going to an area called Penrose Commons. Which is lower in elevation. And I ended up riding this area the next day. As you can tell here, it did not interfere with my riding style at all. Okay, now shit's getting interesting. Steep downgrade, a lot of rocks. Holy shit, a lot of loose rocks too. Be really careful how you hit them. Front end could really wash out quickly. This trail, we've been on this trail already for like 15, 20 minutes, I think. Seems like it just goes on forever. Now 
Now I need to do hill climbs for, for, for a full test because that is where I mostly felt it. And as well, I need to test in higher elevations once the snow melts because I am not sure if the elevation has something to do with it. Now it definitely goes through the rev smoothly and as long as I am pretty average on the throttle, it does not do that pinging or that rev limiter situation. If I ease into it super slow or hold my throttle at a given point, it starts choking up but I believe that is 100% normal since essentially I am not giving it more gas. Now there is a small problem, it seems to want to flame out pretty easy when I'm trying to crawl up things and I can't start the bike in first gear anymore as long as it is cold. Once it is warmed up, I can obviously start the bike in first gear. Now, I remember doing a steep single track called Mount Rosa, which is extremely technical, and the bike, once warmed up, would not stall as easy before the new remap. Now with this new remap, although the issue is fixed going through the revs, the new problem seems to be clutching and going from a standstill. Oh shit, I did not see that hill climb. <laughs> really not have enough power to go up this thing <laughs> it seriously doesn't have enough power I know we are not supposed to be crawling up things and we're supposed to be going up technical objects with momentum, which of course I am a new rider so every so often I am going to find, it, find things a bit more difficult or mess up pretty often which will require me to crawl and clutch up technical stuff. Now of course there are a few fixes I can add such as a recluse or get better or essentially just stay in the revs. But we all know that's pretty hard to do when you are a new rider and learning. Now, I still want to get that anti low end flame out again. So I will continue looking for fixes and possibly get some new add-ons on the bike and see then. I do plan on getting the get ECU as well, as well as a new pipe, shave the head and other additions I can find along my journey. So go ahead and subscribe, hit that bell button so I can keep you guys posting once I find things out and possibly more fixes or essentially what can make this bike run even better.